No, not watch that one. Uh, no decisions were made. Exactly boring as hell. We do. We do want to make uh, certain we have the ad placed the way we want for the insurance. Uh, the state agents and reps. We want what? That the ad states agents and reps. Oh, okay. That the ad state agents and reps. Okay. All right. So. You want insurance agents with quotes from different companies, and you are willing to consider bids directly from wet reps of insurance companies. Yeah, it's yes. our it's our job to okay. see through the BS and the smoke. Okay. Ooh, that camera's on. That's right. <laughs> Just, okay. Now, are Hang we at here. that point, gentlemen? And with Cody, come on up, bud. Cody wanted so. Oh. And you probably need to take that for Lauren. Uh oh, he's got that. Cody drinking. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just call it ketoacidosis. <laughs> um, that's an inside joke. Somebody with diabetes will be like they're drunk. Okay. Um, on one of these, I'd rather talk to you about an executive session, public safety. Nobody's in here, but. Well, we got the recordings right. and everything on. Do you do you want to go into executive um, session? Well, I, th I think I think Talk we're fine. About the other part first, and then we okay. can shut it off. Um, um, there, we're kind of at a crossroads with the High Plains Operation Group due to elections. Um, Bill Finley lost the primary race in Rollins County. Um, not sure if Rollins County will still remain a part of that or not. We've got a lot of a lot of things to work out. We're going to have a meeting this week, try to work it out. The two remaining sheriffs would be myself and Pat Parsons from Logan County. Um, if it becomes just him and I, um, we want to make some significant changes to the to the way we do things, um, including a uh, policy book and things like that, kind of make it a little bit more cover our liability a little bit more than the way it's covered right now. Um, with that being said, the vehicle they were driving um, was a Rollins County vehicle. Mm -hmm. We paid for a third of the expenses on that vehicle, but it belonged to Rollins County. Um, we're not sure how we're going to end up doing things, whether we're going to buy Rollins County out or not. We'll know more when we have a meeting next couple weeks um, and see Bill might run as a ride-in. He might win and might want to stay in. So we got a lot of unknown questions. Um, but I guess I just wanted to prepare you guys for there may be an opportunity uh, for us to stay in this. Um, but it would be just two counties. So instead of splitting the bill in thirds, we'd be splitting the bills in half. Instead of giving a third of the money on anything that's seized, we'd be getting mm -hmm. half of the money seized. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's give and take on that. Um, I just wanted you guys to be aware of that as we as we go through because of elections there could be some possible changes okay. with that um, we'd have another four hundred and forty thousand dollars right now that's um, sitting there um, which we would get a third of if we want all of that in court um, just to let you know that we're going to try to push that we get that issue those that those monies resolved before uh, uh, before January when other elected people take office so um, so um, the other part the other thing I talked about is um, I am pricing a couple used vehicles um, it's kind of hard to do surveillance in a vehicle marked sheriff on the side with six foot letters so I may be purchasing a vehicle through the drug fund um, you'll be if I do, um, I don't want to talk about it much. I don't want people to know what that vehicle right. is, obviously, and stuff. So, um, obviously, the invoice would come in, you know, uh, take the money out of the drug fund type of thing. I just want to make sure. I mean, it's not, like, deeply classified. but Right, but I'd, just for us to all be careful not to mention yeah. the make and model and color in a meeting. Yeah. I think you're giving us a heads up on that. Yeah. Okay. So. It's going to be nice to know in case he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's also it's also going to work out good because the vehicle I want to buy, I'm not going to buy some cruddy old car that won't make it down the road. Um, also, instead of taking our marked units with everything that's going on with law enforcement and ambushes and all this other stuff, I feel really insecure when I send deputies to training in Kansas City or Wichita or something like that. They have no way of getting a hold of somebody to back them up if somebody starts shooting at them or something like that. They're not wearing their uniform. They probably have a pistol on, carrying it concealed and stuff. So when they take the unmarked surveillance car, it would be a lot safer for them. <coughs> Secondly, so. Can I make one recommendation? Mm hmm And, of course, I've noticed this with KBI and all. Mm hmm when you get this car, don't put them tiny little hubcaps on there that say, this is a government car. car. No, we're just going to buy a, <laughs> a used car, whatever the best deal is at the day when we, when we make the decision. It's not going to be, it probably won't even be a cop-esque car. It just might look like a soccer mom's car. It might look like a farmer's pickup, whatever's the best deal what of the day. What about tagging it, though? Is it still going to have a government tag no, on it? No, we don't, we don't have to put county tags on it. I'll talk to Doris with that. It'll it'll look like a regular, regular tag. So. Okay. So, and that is all. Um, we did start a neighborhood watch in St. Francis. I had a first meeting. Uh, Bird City's interested in doing one. Um, I told them that I could give them some funds out of the drug uh, trust fund to help them get started you know, with signs and things like that. Cause that's some of the stuff we're supposed to be doing with that money. Um, but I told them they had to have a regular organization before we did that, not just two guys and um, saying they're going to do it. I want to see some, you know, president, or vice president, treasurer, that type of that type of organizational chart before I would give them any money. So. Okay. okay. Did you have something for executive session? Or? No, the, that surveillance car was executive okay. session. But since we didn't mention make and model, um, okay. Do you have anything else, Cody? Nope. All right. Have you thought about transferring those two vehicles you're carrying on your account right now over to the drug money to pay for them that I can't. way? I legally can't because it's already budgeted, and I can't use it oh. for a budgeted item. Okay. So, sorry, Rodney. <laughs> well, I'm always thinking for the county, you know. I know, I know. Uh, I would, go go I would love to. Uh, I'll second that motion to adjourn. Okay. Thank you, Cody. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you.